Hey, this is Vic, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to import either a bomb or a parts catalog or inventory, as sometimes uh, we refer to it, uh, from an Excel sheet. So let's get started. Here's the open bomb dashboard. So what you do is you go to the far left and you're going to see this uh, button here. That's really a drop down uh, menu. And here we have import a bomb from a spreadsheet and the import inventory from a spreadsheet. Those are the two that we're going to be focusing on in this video. So let's get started with first importing a bomb from spreadsheet. Now I'll just start by saying now that for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use exactly the same uh, Excel spreadsheet. Uh, but I think you'll, you'll get the gist of what I'm uh, trying to, uh, to show you here. Having said that, let's get started. So when I say import a bomb from a spreadsheet, when I click it, now I'm on a Mac, and if you're on a PC, of course, you will be uh, able to choose that uh, from your uh, file explorer. But uh, before I, I go ahead and do that, let me show you and talk to you a little bit about the actual Excel spreadsheet, because there's, there's three things I want you to pay attention to when you're exporting an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so this is an Excel sp spreadsheet and there needs to be just a little bit of configuration going on here and then you should be good just to import this into OpenBOM. Okay, the first thing is that your uh, column names or properties as we call them at OpenBOM need to start on row six. Okay, on row six. That's really, really important. If you start on row five or you start on row one, it won't import correctly, and if you do so on 7 or otherwise, it won't import correctly as well. Needs to start on row 6. That's rule number 1. Rule number 2, you must have a column name or property, doesn't matter where, that has part number in it. Literally, part number. Really important, okay? And rule number 3, you cannot have duplicated column names or properties. In other words, for example here, column C has the property manufacturer. You can't have manufacturer spelled exactly the same appearing somewhere else. It can only appear once. So if you have duplicate column names, just change them so that they're uh, different or slightly different. Uh, but for all practical purposes, they would be different. Okay, now having said that, let me go ahead and move this out of the way again. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, and import one. So where is it? Uh, right here. I'm going to import that very same one that I showed you, the interface boards. And once I click it, OpenBOM is going to automatically uh, put that particular bomb that's been imported on the dashboard. And then when I click it, there I am. There I go. It's, it's there. I'm ready to work. I can add items. I can add properties. I can do all sorts of things that, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and click delete here, but uh, I can now start working with this uh, Excel imported bomb in OpenBOM, okay? Now, let me show you how to do it for importing a uh, parts catalog. It's exactly the same, okay? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull in again the same sheet Okay, it's exactly the same, right, for the purposes of this. And again, the same rules apply. Nothing changes with the exception that when you import, right, rather than import bomb from spreadsheet, you will click import inventory from spreadsheet. So once you click that, you go through the same process as before. Now there's going to be one slight little difference, which I'm going to show you in a second. So when I click this, now before remember I said it's going to appear in the uh, bills of material. Now because I imported a parts catalog or inventory, this is not the uh, bomb uh, dashboard, right? This is the dashboard for the parts catalog. You see that it's even highlighted here. Let me get rid of this, right? So this is, this is the bomb. This is the one we imported earlier, okay? The bomb from spreadsheet. Now, automatically, you see it in the parts catalog uh, list of parts 
uh, catalog or inventory. That's a tongue full. Anyway, so, and if I click it open, there it is. It's the same one, obviously, as I mentioned before. It's as simple as that. So when you import a bomb from a spreadsheet and you formatted your spreadsheet correctly, it's going to appear in the uh, bomb list. And when you import a inventory or parts catalog, it's going to appear in the parts catalog. Okay, guys, that's it. Hope this is helpful and thank you.